retarded and defensive about our own retardation. Um, and again, I think if you don't have these kinds of outlets, uh, your culture isn't going to develop in exactly the same way. Uh, so we're actually missing more stuff than, you know, than we had. But the one thing we had, we've always had comedians and, and they were our biggest export. And uh, because comedy, you know, comedy clubs like Yuck Yucks, I mean, you know, you need a basement with a stage in it. You don't need to have this giant, you know, NBC studio infrastructure and distribution and broadcasting and, and blah, blah, blah. You, you just need a guy on a stage and, and it's cheap. So right. we do a lot of low-budget stuff well. Um, way too many road movies, <laughs> way too many horror movies, because they're both the cheapest kind of movies to make. And, uh, you know, there's nothing we can do about the fact that we just don't have all the stuff that you guys have. Well, so, there's nothing no, there nothing is. to be ashamed there, of. Uh, as, as, <laughs> as Sammy Maudlin would say, <laughs> any, uh, any country that produced SCTV... Is aces with me. I hate to have to wrap this up, but we're gonna we're gonna have to, and uh, I, I'm gonna definitely call again. You 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 might be my first repeat um, guest. Oh well, I I would love to do that. I'll tell you all kinds of you know Canadian showbiz, such as it is, uh, stories and uh, you know uh, anything you want to talk about, we'll talk about. It, it's been fun. It's a nice break from my actual. Work. I have a couple of deadlines, so this this gave me a nice break too. It's always uh, fun to chat to a person who knows as much about pop culture and knows that you know Canadians don't live in igloos and stuff. Yeah, no. and, nice. and I knew this was going to be fun because um, if I was to mirror any blog and just put it up on our blog and say, "All right, call it a day," it would it would be yours. And one of the reasons I say that is because you're a headline writer, um, which I enjoy. Um, oh, thank you. No, seriously. I mean, I've been told by a bunch of people, oh, you know, you realize you're not getting in the search engines properly because you write your wacky headlines and everything. And you do the same. And uh, and, and, and I, I like that. Uh, I think they're more entertaining to, to, to set up the headlines in such a way where it's it's almost the punchline to the joke before you get to the, the, the you know. <laughs> That's exactly it, right. Sometimes I think I should do them upside down, but I always chicken out because that's just not... That to me would just be violating the whole style that I've kind of already set up. So yeah, that I'm glad you noticed that. Oh yeah, no, I, I noticed. appreciate the. Yeah, I'm a I'm a headline uh, uh, an auto. <laughs> I don't know what, what what the word would be, but I like I, I appreciate it. A really good headline, and and you're you're one of the best at it. So um, thank, thank you. For you. That. Well, I I think that's I think that's part of the British press influence too. I <laughs> I used to know a. a British, uh, they, they're called sub-editors over in England, the people who come up with those wonderful, uh, uh, you know, Daily Mail and, 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 and Sunday Express kind of headlines. And, and you know, he, he could just rattle them off. It was almost like a parlor game. You could set him up, and he would have this, like, multi-level carry-on movie type pun uh, mm. ready to just slot in for imaginary stories because that's how their brain works. And I guess if, like me, you just grew up reading stuff like this day in, day out, you, your brain just, it gets a little groove in it, and that's how stuff just comes out yeah. uh, when you're trying to write, even if you're trying to be serious. Yeah, I grew up on the New York Post, and they, they are well known for their fantastic headlines. Um. That guy died, the headless body and topless bar uh, <laughs> writer. He, he died a, uh, about six months ago or something like that. I think I actually put that up on my site and he got all these really nice little uh, mentions all around the, uh, you know, the media blogs because everybody, you know, that is their, that's the one thing that everybody remembers, you know, to the end of time is that one, <laughs> that one particular headline that was just uh and he talked about how he thought it up it was so interesting so but uh, yeah the new york uh, the post you know uh it, it has a lot of good things going for it but wow some of those headlines are just uh fantastic they're little works of art all their own yes and you know what i was not aware that he passed away so i'm a little, a little sad right now <laughs> i've just oh. heard this news and uh, oh. I'll have to look at look for it um, on your blog. Did you give it a snappy headline? 
<laughs> oh God, of course, you know, I, I, I don't think I did. I, I can, to be honest with you, I don't remember a lot of what I write like a day after I write yeah. because I've got so many things on, on the go. But uh, if you use the search, I, I'm sure it'll come up. And uh, it was really kind of neat to spend the afternoon when he died uh, reading everybody's little remembrances of that and how, you know, they could forget their wife's middle name or their anniversary date, but they'll never forget that, that front page. Yeah, well, now my day is shot because you know where I'm going now. I'm going to get nothing <laughs> right, you done. Gotta, you got to check that out yes. and uh, read all about it, and it is, it's pretty addictive, you know. <laughs> Well, thank you, Kathy. We will do this again. I promise you that. Wonderful. I value that. And, okay, and, and that's fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for all your time. I, I know how uh, you're one of the hardest working bloggers out there, and um, we'll, we'll get to uh, some questions um, next time about how you, uh, what else you do, how you fulfill your life outside of <laughs> blogging. <laughs> All right. Okay, that I uh, that that's it's a deal. I I I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.